Welcome back to our second edition in the uh, Motive Pride testing with our power players perspective. And as you know, Sean is our higher ref tester. Hopefully you've already caught the primary video when I discuss the details on how the Motive Pride rolls. In this case, it's probably pretty pertinent to avoid replicating what I said. Overall, it's pretty even on the lanes. It has a good amount of mid lane read with a medium amount of back end. It has that benchmark type look I described. Sean can play pretty direct and you can see the even shape that is a bit stronger down lane than a banana shape essentially. So when he does slow it down, you do see a big increase in angularity, which again speaks to its ability to respond to hand and speed adjustments. You can clearly also see the difference between the Pride and the Venom Shock, uh, like, I, like you saw in my video. Even though the Shock has a strong cover, it still gets down lane and has a bit boomier move down you know, down lane between uh, being a moderately weak symmetric core. It's hard to say where the pride would fit exactly for Sean. The Venom Shock was his benchmark role, uh, and he had that for a long time. But then he jumps to a ball like the Proton Physics, which may seem insanely strong, but helps blend lots of tough pa sport patterns out that, you know, we bowl on. For simplicity, you know, he likes to keep his bag you know, fairly straightforward. I honestly think he wouldn't slot the pride anywhere um, because he keeps pretty few balls. Um, but that's more of a personal way he creates his bag. He prefers to work more with his skill than using lots of bowling balls. With that said, at least you get to see how the motive pride looks for a higher ref style, which is pretty good.